just don't understand. Caleb has had everything handed to him in life, basically handed to him, and yet all he does is rant about how hard his life is. Like seriously, the other day I was talking to him about his job and he couldn't stop talking about how hard it is. Like my life is hard too, you know, but you don't see me complaining about it. Where does he work? I don't know, I've just never really asked him. <laughs> Did you see the look that she just gave me? I just bumped into her a little. I'll never understand how some people just don't care about others. Like, I'm a human being. Can't I be treated like one too? Like, Ethan, what's up, man? Hey, man. Dude, I am so hyped right now. You're not gonna believe what Dude, just happened. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I don't give a shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the middle of a rant here, and you kind of just interrupted me. So, my bad, man. I, I didn't know. Fine. Just, just forget about it. Dude. Rude? <laughs> what did I ever do to him? I'm excited, I mean, give me a break. I don't think I could be any more supportive of everybody else. Why do I receive nothing in return? <laughs> Honestly, it's been a while since I've actually felt excited about something and I thought Ethan might understand that. Uh, he's been through it too, you know, just like me. Our, um, our brothers actually passed away earlier this year, so I thought he'd level with me that happiness isn't that easy to come by, but some people just aren't what they seem, right? So do I just tell Caleb to get over it? I mean, he did seem pretty upset, but he never asks me about anything going on in my life. I know, but how am I supposed to be supportive all the time when he gives nothing, nothing back? No support, nothing. Do you think I was too harsh on Mark? I mean, he seemed really excited about something. No, I don't, I don't know what it was. I didn't really listen. I mean, yeah, I guess I've been kind of in a bad mood ever, ever since it happened. What do you mean, get over it? I, she stood me up again, and, and I liked her too. Tiffany, I know. It's just hard to support someone like that when you get no effort back. Caleb gives no effort. All I am is a nice guy to her. Like, what am I supposed to do? Bow down and, and beg for her affection back? Hey man, what's up? Oh yeah. Thanks for meeting me. Yeah, no problem. What's uh going on? I just wanted to say sorry about about that Dude, outbreak. No, no, don't don't worry about that. It's fine. I mean, it's not. You were excited about something, and I kind of flipped out. So if you still want to tell me, I'd, I'd love to hear it. Well, uh, you know the job at the law firm I got. I've been talking about it a lot. Oh yeah, I mean. Dude, honestly, I have no idea how you do it between, like, work and school, and it's impressive, I mean. Well, I just got another promotion, and it is huge. I mean, you know, my boss uh, said she believes in me, and I feel like I'm finally being seen there, you know? Yo, that's awesome. I just feel a little bit bad, because there's this kid, Caleb, who I beat out for the position, and he really wanted it, too, so. Well, look, Caleb can't always get what he wants, and you've been busting your ass, so I'd say you deserve it. Thank you, man. <laughs> um, so, what were you upset about earlier? It was kind of obvious there was something else going on there. Um, yeah, well, there was this girl that uh, I've been talking to and she kind of just stood me up. Um, Her name is... Uh, Tiffany? Don't have to yell, man. I'm right here. <laughs> Ethan? Tiffany, it's you? Oh, shit. Oh, no, not you. How do you know that piece of shit? I know her because she's had the absolute pleasure of standing me up twice. Um, in my defense, there wasn't anything going on here in the first place. And look at you all high and mighty. Last time I remember from our date, you had your head buried in your phone the entire time. Well, you couldn't keep up a decent conversation to save your life. Oh, come on. Hey, can you guys take this somewhere else? Whatever, he said, she said, I don't care. I've got a lot of shit I have to do and I don't need to hear this right now. Oh my God, Mark. I didn't realize that was you. I'm so sorry. That would be my boss. 